Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Cooking World. Today's recipe is raw jackfruit kofta curry or uh, in Bengali we call this uh, ichoder kofta curry and it is niramish that is I have not used any onion or garlic to make this recipe. So let's see what are the ingredients required. First I'm going to prepare a spice mixture for which I have used half tablespoon each of whole cumin and whole coriander. Along with that, I have used very little uh, javitri or mace. In English, we call it mace. And half inch of cinnamon, three green cardamom, and four to five, uh, I have used cloves. So what I do, I will just dry roast it for 40 seconds or 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, and then I will let it cool down and grind it in the mixer and grinder to form a powder spice mixture. Uh, which I will use both in making the koftas as well as in the gravy or curry which I am going to prepare. So other than this, uh, this is the raw jackfruit. I have uh, purchased uh, canned uh, one. So, so I have washed it several times uh, with water and then I pressure cooked it for one whistle and I drained the water. I have also added a little salt while pressure cooking it. You may need to just pressure cook it for one whistle or you may just need to steam it it depends totally on the texture of the jackfruit which you're using so i will keep that aside and for the gravy i will need around 14 to 15 salted cashews uh, you can also use raw cashews uh, that is around one and a half tablespoon of cashews and one tablespoon of raisins which i soaked in water and i'm going to prepare a paste of it uh, in the mixer grinder i have here half cup of yogurt or curd and this is the spice mixture uh, which i have dry roasted and ground uh, and grind it in the mixer and grinder and i have kept it aside this i will require for the kofta as well as in the gravy and for whole spices i have two green cardamoms one bay leaf and one eighth teaspoon of shah jeera also called as black cumin and uh, I have here one teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, half teaspoon of paprika or Kashmiri chili powder and uh, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. These are the powder spices. This is one tablespoon of uh, ground uh, crushed uh, in a mortar and pestle. I have used ginger that is around one tablespoon of ginger. Other than this, I will also require around half teaspoon of sugar and oil you can use canola oil mustard oil sunflower oil vegetable oil and one teaspoon of clarified butter or ghee which i will add at the end and uh, fresh chilies and salt as per your taste so let's start preparing so first for making the koftas i have already showed you i added uh, to the uh, pressure cooked jackfruit to one teaspoon of minced ginger half teaspoon of coriander powder and along with that i'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of the dry roasted spice mixture which i have prepared and uh, this is the one and a half teaspoon one and a half teaspoon of sp the spice mixture salt as per your taste and i will also add um, one fourth teaspoon of uh, sugar after this i'm going to crush it with my hand i mean you can also use a potato uh, masher and uh, here i have around three tablespoon of all-purpose uh, flour or maida you may need a little more or little less so as to uh, form the binding and then i will make a small little uh, like uh, golf ball size you can say little smaller than that around three uh, around ten uh, balls i have made here these are the koftas and this i will shallow fry it in oil and then uh, don't uh, shallow fry it uh, on a high flame on a medium flame you just shallow fry it till until they are light brown in color this will take some time and then you keep it aside and then we will proceed to make the gravy for the gravy uh, first uh, i have already told you the cashew nut and the raisins paste i have prepared in the mixer and grinder with the help of little water this i will keep aside and to the curd or yogurt i have added the spice mixture beat the curd properly so that there are no lumps there and just mix the price mix spices together and keep it aside now in an uh, utensil i added around one to two tablespoon of oil uh, when the oil is heated i added the whole spices let it sizzle in the oil a bit and then add the ginger crushed ginger and just fry it for 40 to uh, around 30 to 40 seconds and add the yogurt uh, mixture along with the powder spices which you've already prepared and 
let the oil ooze out and after that uh, you add the cashew nut and the raisin mixture which uh, uh, you can see I've already added it and then stir it and mix it properly go on stirring so that it does not uh, stick to the bottom the oil uh, has uh, seeped out and now you can add the sugar and uh, salt uh, as per your taste sugar uh, range uh, you can it can any anywhere between one fourth to half teaspoon of sugar you can add then you add water as per the consistency of the gravy you want let it come to a simmer and then add the koftas and also the remaining dry roaster spice mixture and very gently you just turn the koftas in the gravy uh, for one or two minutes just simmer it and then you can uh, uh, i'm adding the sugar i added here uh, one four teaspoon but you can add an anywhere between one four to half teaspoon after this i'm going to add fresh chilies to it uh, now the fresh chili you can uh, crush it and add also if you want i have just slit it and added it to the gravy and um, i will just cover it and uh, let it simmer for like maybe a minute or so and then it will be served so uh, i have added the fresh chili uh, everything is done you, at this point you can also add uh, clarified butter or ghee and you just cover it and then you can serve it uh, this goes well with rice roti paratha or even fried rice uh, do give it a try i have served it uh, you can um, have it with rice roti paratha it uh, and it is uh, without onion and garlic uh, so do give it a try and let me know how it turns out uh, share it with your family and friends comment and uh, like and please uh, leave your valuable comments and see you again with some other recipes till then stay happy stay healthy and goodbye